What did Jesus say about the parable of the fig tree? What is the parable and where is found in the Bible? Earthly, it's an earthly story having a heavenly meaning is a parable. But what did Jesus say? He was asked the question, why do you speak in parables? Matthew 13, 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest you or thou unto them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But unto them it is not given. Wow, so not everyone can understand the parables in the Bible today. Only those that is given understand. This is very powerful. This is even, this even applies today. This passage comes into mind. The children of the light understand. 1 Thessalonians 5.1 But of the times in the season, brethren, you have no need that are right unto you. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they say, shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with a child, and they shall not escape. For, but you brethren are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. You are all children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of the darkness. The parable of the fig tree is a mystery only to those in darkness. But to those in the light, it is given to know that it that it that in this passage in tells you to learn. So in this passage it tells you to learn in Matthew 24 32. Now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves. You know that summer is near or not. So likewise, when you should see all these things, know that it's near even at the door or doors. When you see the signs, know he is at the door and also learn that in the passage, if you are given to understand the fig tree is the Israel, the is Israel, the fig tree is Israel. And when you see the, the sign, the signs and Israel, a nation in one day, that makes the final generation. What is a generation? It's a 70 year period. The fig tree in Hosea 9.10, as far as found, is found, is found Israel like grapes in the wilderness. I saw your fathers as first ripe in the fig tree at her first time. Isaiah 668, who hath heard such a thing? Who has seen such a thing? Should the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or should a nation be born at once? For as the son of Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. Israel has to be a nation, and Jerusalem is capital, so the world will come against it. Zechariah 12 3. <clears throat> and in that day, and in that day, will I make Jerusalem a burdensome, burdensome stone for all people? All that burden themselves, but it should be cut in pieces. Though all the people of the earth should be gathered together against it. May 14, 1948, Israel became a nation.
honestly, they have been saying, they have been saying forever that Jesus is coming back, that it's the last generation. Yeah, yeah. Sure, he's coming back. How many times are you going to claim the date of his return? Give me a break already. They have been saying this forever. So what makes us think now? What makes us think now that we are really the last generation? Jesus said, It will be like the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. Sexual immorality will abound. He told us to watch out for the signs. Those that are paying attention will not be deceived. Guys, I'm not going to tell you that I'm a Bible scholar and I got all the Bible prophecies figured out. I just don't have them all figured out. But you don't have to be a Bible scholar to understand one of the most important Bible prophecies in the Bible. And that is Israel, the land of Israel, the nation of Israel, prophesied to come back in their own homeland in the last generation. This is the number one sign that we are indeed finally, finally at the last generation. There's never been a nation in history past who has been assimilated into surrounding nations for that long, who has lost their homeland, and who has been able to come back, who has been able to stand the test of time to hold on to their identity, to hold on to their language, and to regain their original homeland and territory once again. This was prophesied in the book of Ezekiel. This proves without a shadow of a doubt that the God of the Bible is the true God and that the nation of Israel has his name on them. That this is a sign of the times and that everything, the whole world, is revolved around what's happening in the Middle East with Israel and the nations and the peace treaty and all the signs and all the wars and everything's going to be focused on the Middle East surrounding Israel just like the Bible said. We are the last generation. Whoever sees Israel become a nation again, that generation will not pass until all things be fulfilled. We are seeing it with our own eyes. We are witnesses. We are the final people of the earth to see you, the apocalypse, the unveiling of Christ, the revealing of the Son of God, and the second return of the Almighty. Are you ready? Are you ready to face judgment? Mankind will not be able to save himself on this planet. There will be no world utopia. No humanism, nor philosophy, nor scientific technology, nor political ambitions will make this happen. Only Jesus Christ 
coming to set up his kingdom. And all who submit, bow down, worship him as God and Savior. All who repent from their wicked ways will be saved. Call upon his name now while you have time. While there's the moment of grace, the opportunity of forgiveness. The compassion of love can be found today. While it's still today, call upon his name before it's too late.